Historically, Northwestern Oklahoma State University is known for its rich tradition from an academic perspective. But what about athletics? After being a member of the NAIA Athletic Association for many years, Northwestern is now NCAA Division II certified. After last season's 7-19 and 7-13 and and record in the Great American Conference, with such a young catalyst of talent, head coach Eric Bozeman has acquired a team full of new recruits which will play an important factor and role during this year's 2014 campaign. Well, Ranger sports fans, looks like it's time to hit the hardwood. After previous years of not having a volleyball program here at the institution, Coach Gene Krieger has implemented a new strategy and a new paradigm, perhaps. Well, Ranger fans, what an intense day for college basketball it is here at historical Percival Fieldhouse. For NWTV Channel 7 Sports, I'm Travis Harmon Smith. Well, Ranger fans, you don't want to miss the action here at historical Percival Fieldhouse for another exciting day of college hoops. Reporting from historical Percival Fieldhouse, for 7 News Sports, I'm Travis Harmon Smith. Ranger football welcomed the Reddies of Henderson State for the second home game of the season, which pretty much turned into a defensive showdown. Let's not go too far just yet as we begin the first quarter. Northwestern kicks off to Henderson State to open the game as Corey Campbell of the Reddies just flies down the sideline, returning it for 100 yards to the pyline, giving Henderson State an early 7-0 lead with an extra point attempt. It was third and 10 at the southeastern 25-yard line. And just look at Ranger defensive lineman Shelby St. Fleur put Savage Storm quarterback Ryan Polite to sleep. Please give that man a blanket with that sack. Second was third and four at the Savage Storm. 45-yard line, Reed Miller takes the snap. Doesn't see a man. Runs left with a nice hesitation move, going 17 yards to the end zone, giving the Rangers an early 7-0 lead, along with another late touchdown pass to Ranger rideout Gentry, making it 14-0 to end the first. Ranger defense continued its dominance later in the second. Third and two, defensive lineman Jacoby Beasley puts the hammer on Henderson State quarterback Hardinson. Beasley finished the night with two sacks for the Ranger defense. It was second and 10 at the Southeastern 45. Reed Miller drops back, rolls right, as he found Arte Murad Jr. with the spectacular catch for a 45-yard touchdown, putting the Rangers up 28-10. A late field goal attempt by Will Hawkins will give Northwestern a 31-16 homecoming victory against the Savage Storm. When it comes to ethical teaching methods, Ranger women's head volleyball coach Gene Krieger identifies the components in his teaching methods along with explaining how his instruction as a women's volleyball coach puts impact on his ladies to become business professionals once they transition to the societal culture. The Northwestern Oklahoma State University Lady Ranger softball program shares deep compassion and love in the game of softball. I fell in love with it when I realized that other than basketball, other than things that really rely on size, I could be good at this from any size. So as a, as a pretty small kid, I started playing, you know, age four or five. And then an advice I would give to an aspiring college athlete is do not give up. There is a team out there for you. There's so many teams, so many divisions that if you really want to play, you put your whole heart into it, you can find yourself a team. For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Travis Harmon Smith. Seven News Sports with Travis Harmon Smith. Thank you for joining us on Seven News Sports. I'm Travis Harmon Smith. After weeks of touchdowns, tackles, it is now time for slam dunks, three pointers. Oh, and I almost forgot those crossover dribbles. Well, let's not get too far ahead. Northwestern Oklahoma State men's and women's basketball opened the 2015 season at home under first year head coaches Brett Vanner and Brad Franz with both of the coaches being the basketball masterminds that they are. How did their philosophies play out in the season opener?
before you arrived in Utah, mm -hmm. you were previously in Lewisburg, North Carolina, yes. where you were a head coach yes. for the junior college, which that's a junior college, yep. if I'm yep. correct. Now, with the coaching stint that you had at Lewisburg College, you were able to obtain a national championship during the 2012-13 season. Mm -hmm. What intangibles led up to you? How much of an impact did this decision have on the administrative side for Northwestern Oklahoma State? Working in administration, you've dealt with countless issues, I can imagine, not only from an academic perspective, but from an athletic perspective. With all the issues that you've dealt with, what characteristics did you take from being an administrator that essentially became useful in your coaching philosophies at all the various institutions that you coached at? Sure. To add to the national championship run when you were at Lewisburg College, you had a 32 win and three loss record, which yeah. is miraculous in that respect. Describe kind of how the 32 wins got assimilated within well, that season. Well, it's kind of.